All right, don't panic. The nurse shark is the icon on the pack there. However, the reason it's there is because this run is quite old. It was from the sessions where I was trying to farm as many wins as possible against nurse shark and German shepherd. And those clips ended up being um, a compilation episode because I had lost my voice and wasn't able to commentate over them. And this is a run that was uh, culled from those sessions because I don't think I actually match up against any nurse sharks or German shepherds in this in this run. It could be wrong, we'll have to see. But the final build was a little bit unusual and it made me think about a Rev GT video from around about the same time. In fact, it was I think it was the day before this run was recorded that Rev posted his, his video. And it was titled Stats Are Overrated. And it was actually an episode of Pet Roulette where he goes, Rev goes onto my website, uh, randomizes a pet, and then tries to win in custom packs and his build must contain the pet that he got from the randomizer. Uh, you can see there, I just accidentally rolled too quickly and missed out on the pug level, but never mind, we'll, uh, we'll carry on regardless. And it's kind of fitting here that I do actually take Wombat as well, because that's Re one of Reb's favorite pets in the game. Maybe it's his absolute favorite, I'm not sure. But in any case, because this was a run that was to do with trying to beat Nurse Shark and German Shepherd teams, uh, there were a whole bunch of pets in the pack that have um, very strong abilities that can ruin quite a few different builds. Um, so Wombat is not necessarily one of them, although I guess it would be the ultimate hype clip if you got a Wombat to copy a Nurse Shark and then have a, maybe a Nyala at the front of your team, but I think you would probably have to play for a very, very long time to get that. And I actually played for a long time during this period and still couldn't get the Wombat. I don't think I had Wombat in any winning runs at all. But what I do have here is Bat, and Bat is extremely good against a whole range of different uh, opposing comps because wiping um, opposing equipment can completely break a whole variety of teams. You can see here that um, even though this team gets the, uh, the better fish there, the the weakness is going to let us uh, power through. And I've also, also got Eggplant frozen, and I definitely used Eggplant in a lot of clips in the, the previous video. So we're going to take the Blobfish here, I think, or we're going to take the Pug level first. Okay, we're going to go for Pug. And probably here it would be better to have the Pug duplicate either the Bat or, uh, sorry, level up the Bat or the Hawk. So we're going to move the Hawk to the front. So that's going to deal... 20, uh, no, 14 damage to the front unit. Unfortunately, it's uh, an Osprey, which um, could have been something more juicy, but it's a, it's a summer build. They get sheep from the spider, which is very annoying. However, we, the Wombat is going to copy a Groundhog and uh, we're actually going to win. So yeah, to circle back to Rev's run, in his final build he had a very, very low statted team. And at the end of this, I'll, I'll show on screen what his final number was in terms of, um, in terms of stats for the, the final build. And coincidentally, our runs end on the same turn. So we can actually make a direct comparison, which I thought was kind of amusing. But here I'm gonna take Lynx, another pet with a very strong ability, regardless of the fact that it's got no stats at all. And as the run is progressing, we're actually going to start scaling up in power level quite a, quite a distance and not really scaling in stats almost at all. So we're still on five hearts as well, which is um, kind of similar to yesterday's video where I was talking about um, racing to a win where you're trying to, um, you know, out, essentially outrun a lot of scaling builds and uh, just win quickly before you get to the point where you're facing full 50-50 teams. Or unfortunately here you can see the kind of team that is very, very common where you get matched with uh, uh, Clownfish, you know, level 3 Clownfish. But the strength of the abilities on this squad was so good there that we still came through with the win. 
And I think here I'm going to start selling stuff off. I can't remember exactly the order it goes. We've got some of our final squad, but Hawk, Hawk's always been a little bit awkward. Um, leveling up isn't necessarily the greatest because, um, you know, you can protect against it quite easily. Now here I buy the Blue Ringed Octopus, which actually buffs the whole team. Now, if I was purposefully trying to go for a, a team with the lowest stats possible, you know, you, you wouldn't normally do that. You would probably spend all your time looking specifically just for level ups. Um, but because this run was uh, not intended to be a response video of any kind, it was just supposed to be me going after Nurse Shark. Um, we do uh, make a compromise there and buy the Octopus. So we'll get Eagle. It's another unit that's going to be able to massively punch above its weight with uh, the Pug behind it. So getting the instant level two. And I think here I sell the Wombat, our, our biggest or second biggest unit, because I found the Skunk. And we're going to um, move the Muskox to the front and Skunk it. And that's going to absolutely destroy that team. So much like um, the, you know, with some Nurse Shark builds, if you move these, often you'll have like Nayala at the front and then Nurse Shark second. So you can move the Nurse Shark to the front and it won't get to fire. And having just put Melon on the Eagle, I then put one up on it instead. So that was a fortunate roll. Big statted team. We're going to um, reduce the stats with uh, Skunk and then level two Eagle one up. Does some good work, but yeah, we can't we can't go up against a big lemon unit when we're relying on the summon from the eagle. Um, should definitely probably take another eggplant to mess with the opposing build even more. So I guess we could kind of frame this as a challenge. You know, what would be your strategy if you were trying to win with the lowest stats possible? Now I have seen on Reddit before someone posted a. Um, a 5-1-1 pet victory, although I'm pretty doubtful that that was in the upper matchmaking bracket, to be quite honest. And I, I guess the way you accomplish that is by putting mushroom on things and then pilling them. So I think here you could probably imagine putting mushroom on the bat and pilling it because the, the effect from the bat is way more useful than the actual 6-7 stats. But again, here I wasn't actually trying to... Um, achieve the lowest possible stats. I was just playing along and, and hoping that this team could get over the line and then kind of noticed towards the end that actually my stats were incredibly low. Now here we get kind of lucky with a very poor spawn from the level two Orca there. So our low stat team survives. Now turn 14, 112 stats for Rev GT's team. And this team has 87 and we actually get the level three bat on the last roll. And the opposing team is looking very scary indeed. And they have they had double Cobra with Fire Ant. However, one of the Cobras gets wiped by the Lynx Snipe. Our entire team gets wiped, but then Octopus spawns from the Eagle and it's gonna chain reaction its way to the win. I don't know if I've actually used that clip before, but there we go. There is a very, very low statted team winning on turn 14 in custom packs. What's the lowest you've ever had?